What is this? What is this, please? Hello, I am Jarvis. You are Altron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. Have you ever paused to wonder what consciousness truly is? In the vast expanse of the universe and the intricate web of life on Earth, the phenomenon of consciousness remains one of the most profound mysteries. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the depths of this enigma, from the philosophical quandaries that have puzzled minds for centuries to the cutting-edge research in neuroscience revealing the brain secrets, we delve into the essence of awareness itself. Let's start with the definition of consciousness. Consciousness eludes simple definitions, spanning various perspectives from philosophy, psychology, and neuroscience. Philosophically, it's the awareness of external and internal worlds. Psychologically, a stream of subjective experiences. Neuroscientifically, it's linked to the brain's perception, interaction, and self-awareness capabilities. Each viewpoint sheds light on its multifaceted nature, underpinning the ongoing quest to fully grasp consciousness in cases. Now let's look at the theories of consciousness. First, we have integrated information theory which proposes that consciousness emerges from integrated information within systems like the brain, suggesting consciousness can be quantified and potentially measured across beings and machines. Then we've got global workspace theory, which compares consciousness to a spotlight, highlighting information in the brain for cognitive processing, emphasizing information broadcasting across brain regions. Then we have panpsychism, Suggesting consciousness is a fundamental, universal trait of matter, challenging conventional views by proposing a continuum of consciousness across all matter. Now let's look at consciousness and neuroscience. Neuroscience investigates consciousness through brain imaging and studies, mapping brain activity and its links to consciousness experiences. Tools like fMRI and EEG have identified critical networks and regions, such as the default mode network and prefrontal cortex, involved in self-awareness and reflective thoughts. Now let's look at the subjective nature of consciousness. Consciousness is inherently subjective, marked by peculiar personal experiences unique to each individual. This subjectivity raises philosophical challenges like the problem of other minds and the hard problem of why physical processes produce subjective experiences. The debate extends to artificial consciousness, questioning if machines could ever truly experience consciousness or merely simulate it. Now let's look at consciousness in machines. Exploring consciousness in animals and AI questions the uniqueness of human consciousness. Evidence of emotions, self-awareness, and problem-solving in animals has led to ethical considerations about their treatment. The AI debate centers on whether machines can process or only simulate consciousness, expanding our understanding of consciousness and its implications for ethics and rights. Then lastly, let's look at altering consciousness. Consciousness can be altered through meditation, psychiatric drugs, and brain injuries, demonstrating its malleable nature. These alterations reveal consciousness's dependency on the brain structure and chemistry. Well, there you have it. Consciousness explored. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment and let me know what's most fascinating about the concept of consciousness. And if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay enthusiastic. Come to confess your sins. I don't know how much time you got. More than you. Have you been juicing?